So our second question is brought to brought to us by our Instagram handle at eight five nine underscore eight i. Uh, shout out any guesses to what that name might be. Uh, the question is, what's the best thing to do during the summer? So, um, I guess in terms of like betterment and how you can do to prepare for your, prepare for college and stuff like that. No, no, it's your favorite thing to do. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, you can so yeah, we'll, we'll get to I'm that just later. Analyzing <laughs> the question is basically what it's coming down to. Yeah, I'll do the fun stuff first. Yeah. Like, <laughs> oh, I'm all about the fun yeah. stuff. So, well. What do you do for fun? Yeah, what's the best thing to do? Oh, so have you guys been to Sebago Lake in Maine? No. no. Anybody? No. Oh, they got this island on there. My uncle, first was my grandfather's house, and then my grandfather sold it to my uncle. But there's this island on Sebago Lake in Maine, Fry Island, freshwater lake, obviously right. not mm -hmm. a big deal. It's honestly the best thing to do. Freshwater, not a big deal. <laughs> <laughs> That's <laughs> awesome. So actually, it's really cool because they have this big rock. It's, uh, there's like two different levels that you can jump off of it. One's like a 35-foot hop and the other one like actual like A people. rocket? Rock. Oh. Like a big boulder. <laughs> like we're the granite it state of the rock. <laughs> <laughs> no, but actually it's funny though because uh, translating into college, um, I actually wrote my college essay based off of jumping off of that rock. I <laughs> called it a leap of faith. No pun, uh -huh. pun completely intended. Yeah. So, I was terrified of heights, took the jump, and, uh, yeah. Nice. Good metaphor for life, you guys. Yeah, really if you need metaphor. an idea for your yeah. college essay, just steal yeah. Yeah. yeah, just write Go Brendan. To Maine. <laughs> Go to Maine, jump off the rock, and see how you feel. Sebago oh, yeah. Lake. Sebago Lake in Maine. Definitely yeah. favorite vacation spot growing up. I don't know, what about you guys? What do you guys like to do? That's, uh, I, I can definitely go off the lake stuff for yeah. sure, yeah. because uh, growing up in fancy little Pelham, New Hampshire, my buddy used to live on Little Pond, Little Island Pond. Well, I'm not even going to get it right. <laughs> uh, freshwater? It's, it's just, yeah, it's a freshwater pond, Shout out. this tiny, <laughs> tiny pond. Um, but we had a little speedboat that if you cranked it, you would make it to the other side in 15 seconds. Like, it was very small. But we had uh, wakeboard, which uh, for the first time ever, tried doing that when we were kids. And so I used to snowboard. I love snowboarding. I still snowboard today. And it's a completely different experience to try to get up on a wakeboard. Mm -hmm. And so once we figured that out, it was a lot of fun. We ended up getting like the extension pole. So like, when you go off the wake, like, everything was amazing. Uh, and tubing is one of my favorite things to this day still. It was just a, a ton of fun. So whipping people around. And uh, we all got our driver's license for the boat. Mm -hmm. uh, nice. We used to do like, yeah, yeah. yeah. the stupid who can like whip the boat and park it onto the dock oh, the best. Nice. Um, Did you do like so the two said, tubes? And yeah, tied to the back, so like when you come and they just like, it's like yes. bumper cars, and smash into one you jump on the axis yeah, or something. You guys are madmen. <laughs> yeah, I wish you had yeah, done that kind of stuff. Jeez. So yeah, uh, that is probably where I spent the most amount of my time growing up was on that pond because he lived there. And uh, other things for summer though is if it's too hot. <laughs> go bowling. <laughs> Bowling's the best. Yeah. Shocker that Tyler's yeah. recommending we go bowling. Bowling's a lot of fun. So. What's yeah. your favorite bowling alley? Favorite of all time? All yeah. time. That, well, that's a trick question. Uh, <laughs> I, well, Kings is definitely a solid yeah. just because of the built-in bars. Uh, but I really do like the new Wamaset. Uh, I don't know if you guys have been there. Tuxbury? Yeah. What? I'm from Tuxbury. Have you been there? I go yeah. there all the time. All right. Oh. Wamaset's pretty awesome. Are you a candle um, pin bowler? No. I mean, no. Oh, candle pin's so much no. fun, guys. No. Only in New England. <laughs> no. I mean, like, I do regular bowling, too, but Is candle, candle pin's pin only fun. in New England? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Really? Duck, yeah. duck pin's like a weird one, too, that if you're in Connecticut. I don't even know what duck pin is. Yeah, I don't know if I've talked about it here before. Maybe you I have not have, educated us. So. Okay, yeah. So <laughs> duck pin is a very bizarre crossbreed between ten pin, which has like the big, like when you think of the pins that yeah. got the shape. Oh, yeah. um, but duck pin is a smaller pin of that, and you're using candle pin balls. Oh, that's fun. Bizarre. Yeah. Uh, my dad used to do that's that in the league. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, nice. very bizarre, but... I'm nice. fine. Yeah, bowling. Bowling is yeah. my jam. So uh, I think my favorite of all time is probably Kang's. My favorite one to go to is Brunswick and Lowell. Yes. Is that the one we went to? Yeah. yeah. Heck yeah. It's a good place. <laughs> it's a good, solid, solid place. Got flooded back in the day. Oh. Did it? And yeah, got renovated. Got to fix it up. Was it for the better? Yeah. yeah. Was it for the better? Uh, <laughs> Did it need the renovations? Not really. Oh, <laughs> yeah. I mean, I feel like it's the same, but. 
Nice. Yeah. So I guess going back to summer, yeah. <laughs> I guess bowling in summer, but yeah. for my family, we go up to Canada, because that's where my Ooh, mom's cutie. from. Eh? Yeah. Eh? I have a bunch of family. <laughs> eh? Yeah. Oh, it's a good joke. Um, <laughs> <laughs> no one's ever made that joke to you No, before. not yet. <laughs> so it's like a 12-hour drive. We go to Prince Edward Island. Oh, the oh pretty Prince cool. Edward. Have you guys been? No, but I, I love know. Anna Green Gables. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. Anna Green Gables is huge, uh, but the... Whole island, it's I forget what it is, but the beaches are all red clay instead of sand. That's interesting because of like the iron in the air. Um, so those can be fun and dirty, especially if you have a dog uh, running on the beach. Yeah, Bernie would be fun to clean after going on the beach. Bernie, feel the burn. I don't think that like dirt in our backyard right now from the patio is like a nightmare. He comes in and his beard is just just shakes inside the house. (laughs) Is he getting better with other dogs now? Yeah, yeah. Uh, we were talking about that uh, before the podcast uh, in the last meeting, you, yeah. you and I, where um, he's great with other dogs now. He's pretty good with adults, more so females than males. And then he <laughs> hates children. <laughs> like, does not do well with children. Competition. All. Yeah. It takes all the attention. He just gets scared. He backs up. He's not uh-huh. aggressive or anything. But. So. I just got a new puppy. What? Oh, what kind? A Pomeranian Husky mix, Pomsky. Oh, no. Why hasn't we met him? It is the cutest little thing. That's what I was looking thing. at before Bernie. Mm-hmm. Was it really? Yeah. No <laughs> yeah. His name's Scout. He's about nine weeks old now. So that's what I'm going to be doing a lot this summer is nice. taking care of the Get dog. Get a puppy in the summer. Get yeah, a puppy. Yeah, play with the puppy. Heck yeah. Take him to the beach. Yeah. <laughs> um, not the one to the not the one up here. Yeah, not yeah. in Canada. I would recommend adopting though. Uh, most of them are pre potty trained. Uh, Hashtag adopt don't shop. Adopt it's also don't way shop. cheaper if you adopt through like a um, by like thousands. Yeah, but yeah, seriously by like we're thousands. looking right now and it's pretty expensive. So yeah. we're like looking into adopting. MSPCA, I think it may have gone up, but it was like 150 or 200, and they. The shots are included, and um, spaying and neutering is included, too, so adopt don't shop. Save Some a puppy. Planes, yeah. yeah, save yep. save a life. So I guess that's what I'm yeah. doing this summer, looking for a dog. Nice. Ooh, yeah. adopting um, or shopping? Probably adopting. Nice. Oh, because we're guilting not, you into it? No, but I'm not going to lie. Not Scout ruling was out shopping. I was going to lie, yeah. My mom can be a little uh, strict when it comes to what kind of dog the she breed. wants. Yeah. She wants a dog that doesn't shed. Yeah, no, that makes sense. So, so reeling it back to the question. Yeah. <laughs> um, I have always, like, worked during the summer. I um, would go to a dance camp for the beginning of years of my life, and my family always has a Ooh. reunion down the Cape. Um, so those were, like, Ooh. the things that I did. And I, like, volunteered at the dance camp for a year, and then I started working when I was 15. Bright and early. But, like, I, I also did a lot of, like, different fun stuff. So we would always go up to Canopy Lake Park, oh. which is a theme park Canada up Lake. in New Hampshire. <laughs> oh. So is that the delay? Yeah. <laughs> park. Oh, I have been there in a while. Oh, my gosh. It's so great. Anime. Summer Friday. Let's all go. Yeah. Oh, yes. Yeah. I'm 100% Heck about yeah. it. Dunkin' Donuts usually has the coupons. Oh, or is yeah. it McDonald's? McDonald's. Yeah, yeah, McDonald's has the coupons. Or um, Market Basket. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So I do like steal yeah. a stack of coupons. Just grab them and go. The whole office will go. Yeah. So um, doing things like that, like are you kidding just me? That fun little like road a trips. Great activities <laughs> committee thing. Yeah. Is anyone here on the activities committee? Nope. No. Ooh, nope. Are you? Suggestion box. I'm not. <laughs> yeah, definitely throw it in the suggestion yeah. box. Water country. Yep. Water country. Oh wait, that's not candy. Like no, I went to water so country fun. like two years ago. Kind of gross now. Oh, great. Is it? Maybe because we'll I'm go. older, so like all the kids are really young and they all just seem like sticky. <laughs> uh, what? <laughs> gross. <laughs> <Ew>. <laughs> gross. Also, going to the beach is fun. Um, my friend and I, my friend and I used to go up to Hampton Beach, yeah. but we'd only go at night. Like Hampton Beach at yeah. night is bomb. I'm it's amazing. Hampton. It's well, really cool, um, especially at night because there's not that many people around. The beach is enormous, and it's always overcrowded during the day. And we would go up there at night, and we would just like hang out and like do gymnastics, dance on the beach. Uh, at one point, my gymnastics friend was on the beach. super. Yeah, that way, if you fall, then you, it it's soft. Really yeah, oh. it doesn't hurt as much as falling on like cement. Do you do the thing where they like uh, bury a ball, like a bouncy no. ball? That's like. <laughs> No, I would hurt you know myself so much. Yeah, like, you know yeah. About? You like dig a hole and you put a yoga ball in there, oh, and then it acts like a, like a trampoline oh. almost. 
No, we did yeah, not do that. Like we were just like, wheel. let's do cartwheels. <laughs> what did you get from the 25 cent ball machine? Yep. Like, do you guys yeah, you, you put in, yeah, you put in this tiny little bouncy ball. And then you, <laughs> and then you bury so it. <laughs> I'm just picturing like you digging a hole and just burying a ball. You like, put one of those in. Not, <laughs> not yeah, really. Don't. <laughs> no, it's yeah. not a dog. <laughs> it's, uh, what do they call those things? Really bad? Time capsule. Yeah. 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 Time no. Shout out, give you good memories. Yeah. yeah, except the kid would find it the next day after yeah. they're like digging a hole, trying to build a sand castle. <gasps> Where in the Cape would you go? Um, my aunt has a place down in Dennis, so we would go visit her Ooh. there. Yeah. The what beach? What beach? Huh? Oh, on the map? Yes. It's about like here ish. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. For those of you that don't know, Massachusetts is shaped like this. So whenever you're talking to someone, you go, "Where on the Cape do you go?" So like, this is like Provincetown. This is Chatham. Dennis is somewhere like over here, and Near also we would like go to like Yarmouth. No, no, the pit is Fall oh, River. Sorry, I... <laughs> <laughs> Fall River and Falmouth. That's just like right the armpit. Fall. Nothing to say about them, <laughs> <laughs> but just where they are on the map of Massachusetts. <laughs> we didn't pick it; they did. Mm-hmm. Well, the founders did. <laughs> But yeah, I think to like loop back into question for we're talking what, about stuff. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> what's the best thing to do in the summer? Obviously, we've said what is the best thing to do, but what you should do is a little bit different. We talked earlier in question number one about taking those college tours and actually getting on campus and experiencing that. Also, Kara mentioned getting the job. Yeah, work. So it's fun. Work, get paid. You can use that towards your college. Uh, that's going to be extremely helpful. Also, it's disposable income, so you can go out and actually do those things and not have to worry about gas is expensive. Gas, gas is actually is I think cheaper than when I was in high school now. Because I think it's a little yeah. bit cheaper, just, but just it's still, yeah, 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 it's not four dollars like it used to be. Yeah. Oh man, that was a nightmare. So yeah, you get get some disposable income, then you can go out, you can have fun with your friends Definitely. and not worry about it. But at the same time, you can be saving towards the, the bigger, which is college, and helps out in the financial aid. So especially if you uh, don't want to get a job during college, because yeah. some people, I don't know, it can be overwhelming to have yeah. a job as well as be, being in school. So like I worked, I tried to get a job in college, but I couldn't find one. Yeah. So I worked <laughs> mostly in the summer, and I had to save up. For yeah, that was my thing too. Them. Is that I got. I worked a job where I had eight hours every two weeks. So that was, I got like 40 bucks every two weeks to um, pay for groceries my sophomore year. And that was mm-hmm. not enough to pay for groceries no. in my sophomore year. So I like saved up the whole summer before. And yeah. I was working a job where I got a lot, I was a tour guide, so I got a lot of tips. So I was like saving up tips too. And trying to like, Definitely. whenever I went home, just be like, oh, just, do you guys have tours for me? Can I, like, what can I do? Yeah, for sure. Summer's a very good time to save up a lot of dough and get ready for college. I did not have to worry about that because I had the job as the school mascot. No. What? Oh, I like it. Oh, now we know so, the man behind the mask. The mask. <laughs> Anybody? Bentley University. Flex the Falcon. Big Blue Bird. <laughs> when nice were you there? Show. How many, what years were you the mascot? 24. I, yeah, 24, 24 wow. years, my entire life. <laughs> Support He's this. He's been doing pretty well. Yeah. yeah, I've been doing pretty well for myself. You should have been telling us where on the Cape you go. Yeah. <laughs> Dennis, I go to Cape. Dennis, that's why I asked. I went to Dennis. No way. Yeah, oh, Mayflower sweet. Beach. Oh. See, there sweet. we go. Yeah, <laughs> see, connections. But, no, the uh, that was probably the best job I've ever had in my life. Just kidding, I really love working here. But, no, that was actually probably the best job I've ever had in my life. Did you ever get, like, really job. hot? Oh, for yeah, sure. Yeah. All the time. Yeah. But I had a ton of energy, so it was really nice to blow you? it off. Really? Because, yeah. <laughs> I don't, know, I don't mean I don't it in a bad you way. You have really great you energy. Me, no, you I have amazing you energy. <laughs> <laughs> it's funny. I recently went to Disney, and they have those people in the costumes. Mm-hmm. Oh, I would not I, be able to do that, though. Yeah, no. Kevin, you know Kevin the bird? Kevin! Child? Yes. He passed out. Really? <laughs> because it was so hot, and they kind of just put a blanket over him, and was like, He's Kevin's dead. sleeping. Kevin's dead now. <laughs> oh, my gosh. And they, like, passed. dragged him away. <laughs> oh, my God. Poor Kevin. Because you can't. Like yeah. the illusion, you gotta. No, it's. It. I mean, yeah, it's, I guess so. It's that true. was. I was like, oh my god, get him out of the heat. Yeah. It's. I mean, it's That's definitely. Terrible. It's definitely true how hot it gets in there. I was just thinking, uh, Bentley. Our biggest sport there was probably women's basketball national championships, twenty fourteen. Not a big deal. Um, and just going inside the gymnasium and just being around a bunch of little kids. 
like I would do like push ups with like a bunch of little kids on top of me and stuff like that. Oh. And you'd just be like you would you would just like lose probably fifteen pounds in one. Yeah. You know? And Ooh. like six years ago, Brennan, that's probably like fifty percent of my actual weight. <laughs> <laughs> So, but yeah, no, it was a, definitely a ton of fun. It was really fun just bouncing Being around. Being a school mascot if you run cold. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Facts. 